Hello everyone and welcome back. I just made it up here to the house. I'm only up here for today. Then I'm heading up to the tent, but I thought we would do a little bit of a, not an in-depth one, but check out the property a little bit. I've got a couple of uh, requests for that and you can just kind of see what's here. I thought I would go ahead and take care of this right now, right after I get here. Because Melissa picked up this antique vanity and it's got a mirror thing that sets up on top, so I want to get that put together. We really like the old antique furniture like that, uh, and that vanity matches this, whatever, what it's called that we're using to put the TV on. It matches it really nice. So to make this a little bit easier, those pine trees right there, those are on our property. And the property runs all the way up to this other road. So you can see over here, there's about a quarter of the property, maybe a little less than that, that's lowland. It's basically a 40 acre square and right here where this little cabin or whatever it is, uh, they have a three acre piece. Now we're back onto our property here. ends somewhere right in here. So the whole front, you know, you can pretty much see from the road there. You can see those pine trees way over there. And then of course we drove down the road here and it just goes a long ways that way before it hits that road. This now is behind where the fifth wheel is out here. And all this brush stuff that you see that, you know, this probably was a nice pasture or field at one time. But all that brush stuff has been growing up, you know, into it because it hasn't been maintained. So I want to get a whole bunch of that cut down, at least back to those pine trees back there. Same with back here behind the chicken coop, get that all cleared out and back so I mean, you can just come right through here and all this tall grass and stuff isn't here. Melissa has constantly been seeing deer coming up. They come from on the other side of that garage or now the fifth wheel and they come right through the front yard and they just follow that tree line and they cut across that field right there. This old trailer here, of course, uh, you've heard me say it before, we're going to get that removed or I'm going to crush it down or something. We've got to get it out of here. The deer have a pretty heavy trail that comes right through. You can see how far back it comes from that far corner of the woods back there. It comes through all the way across here. You can even see right here where they've just been going through all this grass and they, Melissa said they always go between the, that uh, pail that's on the fence post and that little, I don't know what you want to call it, that little bush or whatever to the left of it. And the property, these fence posts, it literally has, I bet you it has at least 200 fence posts on it. So some of these I can pull if we want to fence an area off and uh, just kind of make our own thing if we want to get any animals. I bought one of these deer blocks, like an attractant block, because I'm not going to be hunting deer here, so this is legal. Put this out here, hasn't even been here a week, and you can see it's really chewed down. And then every night she comes out here and we have like a two gallon pail and she dumps corn here. And she consistently sees like five deer will be coming out here and eating. Maybe I can get a little bit of that tonight if they come out. Now if we follow through here, right where the deer always walk. Oh, check this out. We have not seen a buck yet uh, on that block, but look at that. 
That's pretty fresh. <laughs> wow. We go from here. Here's where this deer trail is. And you can see where the house is there. I just walked into the woods here, just past that pail. Once I get back here, you can see they had a two-story deer uh, stand. It's pretty dilapidated right now, but... Uh, I mean, this had to have been the most awesome area because this... I'm actually going to mow all of this back or whatever run a tiller through here i'm not a tiller but a disc on a tractor or something and clear this all out because it's just a like a cleared area all the way back to where it kind of turns into a swamp and you can see this trail here this is where all the deer go so there's that deer stand and you can still see the house over there through the trees They have really been using this quite a bit. Now the trail kind of turns to the left. I'm just following the deer trail now until it gets up to the property line. Well, now I've came back out here in the field. Now I'm back behind the house and behind that barn building right there. I was walking towards that uh, property line and it's like, why am I walking towards the property line? You guys are looking through a camera lens. <laughs> You're not gonna even know where that is in comparison to the property. Right here, you can see this deer trail that comes right through here. Oh, there's a scrape. I did not see that. So there's the deer scrape right there, and then if we pan over here, right behind the barn there, there's a deer stand. So if I'm sitting in this deer stand, you see that taller tree right there, that tamarack with a little bit of the lighter needles on it? Just to the left of it, there's that small little tamarack there. Anyway, right there is where that scrape was. So they had a pretty good, pretty good spot here, covering this whole back field. The deer also have a trail that comes here, comes up, there's that deer stand. You can see it coming right here. And then it just goes right through this little field, right back over by that tamarack tree. So I want to walk in here because there was something that I found a couple weeks ago when I was walking in here that you guys are going to think is pretty neat. Man, the deer trails that go through here are like highways. So a couple weeks ago I finally had the chance to come out here and walk the whole property. We actually bought it before I walked. I mean I still haven't walked all of it, but you know, I've walked the majority of it. And I come off and this, never seen it in the summertime when we walked around a little bit back here because of all the leaves on the trees, but there's another deer stand. It's built pretty solid, but it's not built level at all. But I have been up there and it's still pretty strong. From here, you can see the house over there. And then if I turn this way, which is opposite of the house, you can see that swamp area that's out there in the back. And otherwise, it's just, uh, just the woods. I bet you they see a lot of deer walking through here, though. This is really actually a nice spot.
if we were to walk straight that way, about 150 yards is where that tamarack tree was. Just trying to give you some sense of direction here. It looks like that stand at one time had a roof on it. And I'm pretty sure it sat up on top of those 2x4s. It looks about that size anyway. It looks like mainly with the trees. I've got some poplar trees, I've got some birch, and there is actually quite a few maples. These are maples right here over on the, the part where that two-story deer stand was. There's quite a few maples over there. So I definitely think I'll want to do some tapping for some uh, sap in the spring to make some syrup. If we keep walking this way, it's just a long walk all the way to that dirt road and the woods that looks just about like this. There is a couple of, one really big spruce tree that's real pretty over there. Otherwise it all pretty much looks like this. And like I said before, there's tons of fence posts. I get over to this far side and you can see where that's where that house or cabin is. I've walked that side all the way to the road. All those trees we own. We own these trees over here too. I have not walked those all the way to the road. Probably wait and do that in the winter time when everything is nice and frozen. I really want to disc all these fields up here, get them nice and smooth. Plant something in here that deer would like to eat. This is a perfect example because you can see how this field is here and then these little clumps of brush have grown up. If I get this all cleared back to those trees, all this will be nice and open. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I gotta get some stuff done here. I'm leaving in the morning for the tent and I have a few things I really need to get done. I will see you guys on the next video.